morning everyone good morning um, I'm leaving Pilates right now and I thought that I would do a little car vlog um, you guys know that I said truly Danny is my inspiration for my channel she does a bunch of vlogs in her car when she's driving so that's what I'm gonna try to do um, I don't have a car mount so I'm holding my phone <laughs> I'm gonna try not to look at you guys too much because I don't want to crash. Um, but I'm just leaving Pilates. It's Friday morning when I'm filming this. And I'm gonna go get my coffee right now before I start work. But I might stop and get gas. <laughs> Let me know if you guys do this. I have 20 miles till E in my car right now. Like I run my car down so far before I'll get gas so I'm thinking I could probably make it there my Starbucks is not 20 miles away but just to be safe I guess maybe I'll stop and get gas by my house because I've ran out of gas before oh I'm out of the shot okay <laughs> I've ran out of gas before with my mom actually coming back from the mall which is not close to where I grew up so yeah we got off the highway and all of a sudden when we were downtown the car started going like lurching and then we literally just ran out of gas and we had to get out it was a real cluster so I've already lived that <laughs> I've lived that before and there was another time that was a close call so I think I'll probably just stop and get gas I really hate getting gas are you guys are you guys that way? I see the same older dude walking his big Great Dane. I don't know if it's a Great Dane, but it looks like a Great Dane to me. I assume that's what it is. It's huge. I see this guy like four or five times a week because <laughs> he must take his dog on the same time that I usually go get my coffee. So just saw him. Um, but I'm going to get my, I'm going to go to Starbucks. Um, I'm going to get my Grande vanilla sweet cream cold brew that's my go-to let me know what your guys' favorite if you have like a specific order that you usually get or if you're a psycho and mix it up every time I'm like a I'm definitely a creature of habit so I like to get the same thing I like to get stuff that I know I'm gonna like I guess is what I'm saying um, I do try new stuff sometimes like there's a holiday drink I like um, but when you get something new that you don't like I'm always like oh my gosh like why did I do this to myself I should have just stuck with what I know um, I'm in a pretty good mood today guys Pilates was good um, if you guys do Pilates you know that it's like a it's not an intense workout so when I first started going, I'll have to check my app, but I think that that was like my 10th class. Um, you guys will have to let me know if you do Pilates, but if you do, you know that it's not an intense workout. And that's my first couple classes, I didn't like it for that reason. Um, I used to row and I like run, I do a lot of cardio for my exercises. So I didn't like it at first because I was like, it's not even a good workout like because for me if my heart rate's not like you know 170 or above I'm like that was weak so but I like it now because I understand I'm like moving my body using you know my muscles in a different way um, a different way than I'm used to which I think is good um, that's one of my things I want to try to do this year is try to find new ways because I work out every day but I want to try to find new ways that I can work out without it being like in the gym every day because that gets that gets old after a while um, so Pilates is good I live in Michigan so I'm sure there are spots that I could hike but hiking is not something I guess I would do on my I think I said on this channel that I really want to run a half, a half marathon this year. So I'm thinking I should try to find like a club, like
like a running club near me so I don't have to go alone because I don't like to go out alone get snatched somewhere so it was good though Pilates was good my um, instructor that I like to go to my first couple this is she's like the only one I go to now because I think that she does the hardest workout which I like it's my workout for the day you know I need to be burning a little bit so I really like her now I used to think that she was scary my first couple classes I was like she seems mean but I think that the more classes I've had with her she actually is a nice lady she just doesn't want to talk to you she just doesn't want to like hey how's it going and then I'm like today I realized I was like that's probably how people in the world see me like because I'm that way I'm like I don't talk to you like hey but don't talk to me besides that so, all right guys i'm gonna get in here and get gas and then i'll pick up uh when i get back all right i'm back my nose is all red now it's freezing out this morning it was so cold um i am this way when it gets cold i have a I mean, I guess probably everyone is. I have a really hard time waking up once it gets cold out. So this morning, I was like... So, I just said I was at Pilates this morning. At my Pilates studio, when you book your class, you know, I book it like whenever. But you have to cancel. It's like 10 or 12 hours before the class to get your credit back. Otherwise, your credit is gone and every credit is like $22, 20 $22. So most of the time I'm like, all right, I'm not wasting my money. So I got to get up, got to go to my class. And usually I'm like, I love it once I'm there. But last week, Friday, I booked a class that was earlier in the morning. So like the one I went to today is 7.30. I booked one that was at 6 a.m. So I had to wake up at like 5.15 a.m. It's freezing. I was like, no. <laughs> so I so I lost my credit and I paid $22 for a class that I didn't even go to. I was like kicking myself all day. Because my Pilates days are like my days that I get my workout done. I like chill all afternoon. So I like doing that. But I was just, it was too early. It was way too early for me. And today was freezing. But I think that I'm that way with working out early now like I'll 7 30 is pretty early but I went to this class because I like this specific instructor but I'll never choose to work out early on my own because of rowing I think um, I had to wake up for practice for five years because I didn't just do four years in college I did five years so for five years I had to wake up at you know 5 a.m or whatever probably more like 5 30. I had to wake up 5 30 a.m Monday through Saturday go freeze my ass off out on the lake for two hours just imagine I know that there's people that work out early and I know that there's a lot of people that row if you have not done that imagine waking up at 5 30 a.m it's 30 degrees outside and you have to go do cardio for two hours. It is awful. So I will never, I like sleep in and then work out. Or even if I wake up, say I wake up at eight o'clock, I'm not going to work out till 10. Like I like to be fully awake when I work out now. I feel like because for so long I'd have to be like sleeping, you know, like on the rowing machine sweating my ass off and I'm still like waking up so yeah today was an early morning for me I'm looking at myself <laughs> today was an early morning but I'm done with my workout now um it's 8 44 I usually start work at 9 but my boss doesn't have a lot of work for me right now um I work for a salesperson right so I'm her assistant and right now, because it's the end of the year, she doesn't have a lot for me to do. I usually do like her messaging, 
her texting and stuff. She's at like a conference right now. So she just has me going through her LinkedIn and like saving her contacts, updating them like with whatever information they have. So it's not very fun work. Um, so she was like, you can do it or she's like, you can do it if you want the hours. If you don't, she's like, I don't really need you doing anything else. So I usually work from nine to noon, but I think I'll probably work at 10 to noon today. Just do two hours. Um, or maybe I'll feel like working and I'll go 10 to one, uh, since I already have my workout done, but yeah, I'm going to get my coffee. I'm probably going to take my shower. Sometimes I'll do Pilates and then I'll do my work and shower after um, because I don't sweat really during Pilates. Um, so sometimes I'll just come home, do my work and then take my shower. But I think I'll do my shower today. It's hair wash day. Um, although I don't know that I'm doing anything later today. I think I'm going to be by myself all night and might be just like reading finishing my book so I might not wash it I kind of if it's a day that I if it's a hair wash day but it's a day I know I'm not doing anything sometimes I'll push it to the next day because I know that it's healthy for it to get like it's oils and stuff and kind of sit it helps make it you know glossy not so dry and I do have dry hair anyway um, so we'll see Maybe I want to do something after all and I will wash it. I don't know. Oh, I was just at the gas station. I'm waiting for my dad to give me a call back. He probably will interrupt this video. Because I was pumping gas. And I picked up the black handle. Because that's usually the normal handle, right? Um, and then it went to the different type of gas that I don't want. The diesel or whatever. Or, so I usually get 87 it wasn't diesel but it went to 89 and I was like I don't know if I can put this in my car so I was calling my dad and he's not answering he's probably at my grandma's house he texts me he's like 15 minutes <laughs> I was like, it'll take two seconds it took more time for you to text me than for you to answer the phone this is something I don't call usually to like chat I call my brother to chat but if I'm calling my mom or dad, I'm usually calling with a question. Especially my dad. If I'm, call if I'm calling my dad, I probably need something. <laughs> probably need, you know, some advice about what to do. Like, can I put this gas in my car? Is it going to make me blow up? Thanks, dad. Um, so, yeah. My dad, I'm sure, is at my grandma's. My grandma has dementia, so my dad takes care of her every morning and night he gets her ready to go to her school for the day so he's probably over there you know helping her with her makeup or whatever bless him <laughs> I'm complaining but yeah he's probably doing that so all right I'm about to pull up to Starbs oh I gotta let this car over sorry sorry guy um and then I might get back on uh Actually, I think we're going to be done here. I think this is a good little video. Um, so have a good morning, guys. Maybe I'll post this right now. I already said it's Friday morning. And I don't like when people say, it's October 30th, and then post it in December. I'm like, you're fake. <laughs> so I'll probably post this right now. Have a good Friday. Have a good weekend. If you guys are on my Patreon, you'll see more of me today. I always post on Fridays. Um, so that's it. Thanks for hanging out.